got to see, you know, Cody Rhodes in the ring, you oh, know, gosh. which we did. We got a little, it was kind of like glossed over with like the dynamite preview of like Cody in action. Anytime, you know, I've said it before, anytime we get an in action, you know, it's, it's bound to be a squash match. <laughs> you picked extent. up on that, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> and but you know when they said Ethan Page in action, they didn't announce his his competitor, but then they finally announced Lee Johnson, and I thought that was a great pairing. Um, you know, an up and comer like Lee who can who can go, but Cody Rhodes, you know, made quick work of Seth Gargas, and it, it was a quick beatdown, and nice to see Cody still healthy. It was a nice gesture at the beginning of the. Uh, before the match where he gave um, his weight belt to a fan in the audience. So I really like that. Good guy, um, Cody, man. <laughs> good guy, Always Cody. delivers, man. For sure. And this ultimately, like I've talked about, is, you know, I like – I would prefer a squash match leading into a promo than just a promo, which we've seen many a times. We saw a lot of promos tonight. So even if it is a 60-second, two-minute squash, and then, you know, come in the ring, Tony Schiavone – uh, comes in and then we get uh, Penta El Cerro Miero, which I uh, did not expect to interrupt Cody. And he cut a great promo with the translator, Alex, for sure. Um, and so this should be an outstanding one on one match that we're going to get next week. You know, the interruption and then all chaos broke loose when he really get, did the low blow in his language about yeah. not being able to hold his daughter. So um, this worked so well with, as an overall segment. You know, the match. You know, you, it's hard to grade the match, you know, because it's such a short thing. But I'm going to grade the segment because of the hype for it. It's an elite for me, you know, because I absolutely loved uh, Penta just coming out of nowhere, out of the Spanish announce table, and then cutting some mad game on him for sure. Yeah, I, I got to say, like, anytime I see Cody in action, I'm I'm prepping myself. I got my snacks. I got my water. Yeah, I'm, I'm prepped because I'm you. I'm ready for the Cody marathon match, and and I love how Cody always ha- seems to elevate his competition and push them to another level. And and you very rarely see Cody have a squash match, dude. Like this dude, it always sort of brings out the best in his competition. But this one was a very fitting, very dominant performance by Cody, and he he certainly seemed like he had a lot to say. He was ready to address sort of the the elephant in the room that Cody is. In big matches and pay-per-views, he's he's not hitting that that yeah. you know he's not always winning those big matches, right? Mm-hmm. And so I can I really respected that, and and you could tell that there was that fire in him that wanted to kind of wreck rem, like tell everybody like it is. Um, but Penta cutting him off was awesome. I thought that yeah. like, I thought that um, it was a great play by AEW to kind of lean into allowing Penta to have the mic and. So what? He doesn't speak English. Like we're this is a global platform that AEW is reaching to, and we've seen with the women's tournament. There's a Mm -hmm. they they are catering to a larger audience than just us white guys sitting here in the U.S. I like that about the company. I I think that that's a good thing. And for me, as a guy who's watched Penta in in uh, Lucha Underground, bro, I'm telling you, I know you're a Phoenix fan. I'm telling you, bro, you give Penta some time in the ring in a one on one match. This dude made a, a name for himself on being the arm breaker. This dude, he just, he like match week after week after week, you would see him and it was his mission not to win, but to break somebody's arm. And Jeez. Cody, we've talked about it. Cody, we had, we had, we had questions on whether or not he was going to be able to, uh, to go into the pay-per-view. We thought that maybe he would get a late sub, um, but Penta, the arm breaker, dude, like that, Cody has that tape on his arm. It's a, it's just a bullseye for somebody like Kent, for somebody like Penta, because it's going to be a yep. beautiful story going forward. And and honestly, um, to have somebody like Cody, who again we've talked about time and again as the platform, the guy who is always willing to sort of be that, um, that foundation for the next star, uh, dude. You could not pick a better opponent than Penta. This dude. Phoenix is chomping at the bit to break through that glass ceiling. Penta is right there, brother. I mean, we've talked it time and again. His strikes are always on point. They're fierce. Mm-hmm. They're scary. But his submissions are are next level, man. I cannot wait to see this feud play out. Um, this could be a real star-making moment in AEW for Penta, which is needed. Because right. you and I have talked a lot about with, with the way that things have happened, right? The Lucha Brothers – have sometimes gotten lost in the shuffle of the, how deep this AEW tag division is. Right. And then, and then with the death triangle, with the way that the pandemic happened, it kind of stopped 
uh, the progress and that and like that stardom before it could get started. I think this is an amazing way to reignite the Death Triangle's uh, power. I mean, you get to see Phoenix and Pac get an opportunity at the tag belts, mm-hmm. and now you get to see Penta go against the biggest star in AEW. It does not get bigger than this. I, I am so geeked about what this is, what we have in store down the road, and it's going to lead to some incredible matches, bro. And and if and if this this is just the beginning of that feud. No. With 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 those guys having to get pulled apart, with like you talked about, bro, with 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 Penta going immediately for that cheap that cheap shot to like talking about not being able to hold his daughter, uh, this has got a lot of heat on it already. Uh, yeah. One week in, one night in, and it's already on fire. I cannot wait. So good. <laughs>